Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So at the bottom of the deck, you have got uh, the Ten of Rods. Um, and you've got the Strength card over here and oh, just turn the deck upside down. You've got the Ten and the Star card there. So, um, You've got the Hermit as well. So you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. It, um, sorry, this is the Justice card. So this looks like you've been through a uh, some kind of legal battle. Uh, and, um, you know, you've been maybe a legal decision coming in for you there. You are certainly being guided. You are in the spotlight about something. Uh, but things are turning out for the better. And the universe is guiding you. So you have been, with the star, it's about praying and, you know, um, speaking to the divine, and it looks like there's guidance coming in for you there. So there's been some kind of legal decision, a legal issue that you had to sort through, um, and now the, the, the divine is guiding you, giving you direction, and it's turning your luck around as well, because you can see there's a nice big flower growing over there, so things are changing for you, and, you know, you, the focus is on you at, at the moment. You've got this, <coughs> excuse me, the strength card over here, so somebody had been lying to you and it looks like that truth is being revealed here but it also allows you to get weapons you know you it gives you um um an advantage over them so you can actually sort through these problems sort them out because you know who they are so their their true selves are being revealed to you there and you've got uh, that ten of uh, rods so whatever responsibilities burdens problems that you've been dealing with with this person you're now being able to sort through it and you know it seems like you've you've laid your mark in the sand you have made your this is uh, your um boundary that you set you've said this far and no more uh and you know um you are not allowing people to take advantage of you anymore because now that you have seen the light you have decided that you've had enough and uh, you're going to sort this person out so it seems like you've been dealing with some person on that legal front over there there's definitely a, a legal decision that has been made because you've got that emperor card immediately below that justice card over there so there's definitely a legal decision that has been made um and it's now allowed you to free yourself from this person the star is about hope and uh, moving away and healing from whatever's gone on so you've gone through some very very trying times at the moment um and you're now healing from it uh and you have seen the truth the truth has come to light. Uh, and because of that, you're able to let go of all these uh, fights or burdens or difficult people. You're cutting ties with uh, all that uh, drama in your life and you're letting go of it and you're moving on. So that cycle is now over and done with. You're finished with that and you're now ready to move on. You've got the Tower card over here. So this is about big changes coming in for you. So all that you had built your foundations on was not sturdy uh, that relationship or whatever it is that was uh, before this has not been something uh, worth investing your time and effort in it and that is why the tower comes in to clear the decks and you've got the three of pentacles it looks like now your focus is going to be on your work so big change is coming in over there the old is leaving and the new is coming in and you're going to be focused on your money focused on your finances pretty soon focused on your work <coughs> so in the past, whoever you've been dealing with, uh, they had a, a great impact on your self-confidence. You can see the wings are broken here and they try to break your spirit. Uh, so that is why breaking off ties with them and cutting ties off them was a really good thing for you to have done. And, you know, now that the truth has come to light, you are now going to be able to uh, overcome any kind of difficulties that come your way. You've got that six of pentacles over here. So, um, you know, all your investments will start paying off. And there's a sense of financial stability coming in here with the six of pentacles. So money will come in for you over there. So all this loss and conflict and legal issues that you had to face is now behind you and there's now more financial stability coming in for you there so the tower is just getting rid of the remnants of all that negative energy uh, that has been going on over there uh, you know going on with you so this is 
uh, you know, the tower, they say, is God's hand or God's intervention in the situation. So, you know, the divine is guiding you. Or it's helping you make a new start. You do want to make a new start. You've got that Ace of Cups over there. So you have got new insight into things and you want to make a fresh start. And that's been on your mind. you have tired of everything that has gone before and you want to make that fresh start. You've got the Four of um Rods here. So this is success coming in. You might be thinking about buying a new home. You could even be thinking about travel, uh, you know, getting a job overseas. You you might be even thinking about, uh, you know, getting together with groups of, um, joining a group of people or working together in a group of people and doing a lot of travel and communication. But this card is a card of great success with that four of uh um, rods. So whatever it is you're doing, it's going to be very, very successful. But there's a lot more freedom that is coming in with you. And you're going to be meeting a lot of people as well. So uh, what's on your mind? You've got that five of pentacles. You are feeling very despondent in the sense that you're feeling a lot of a sense of loss. Uh, you know, you feel excluded, you're feeling very lo lonely, very isolated as well. Uh, you've got your defensive gear on, you can see this man's in full um, armor there. But you feel as though you've been excluded from some kind of group. Uh, so if you've let go of a relationship and you were uh, pretty much, uh, you know, your shared friends or, um, you know, you all did things together, you are feeling a little bit um, a lonely and I'm feeling a bit isolated and feeling a little bit unsupported. You might have also incurred a lot of financial loss due to the breakup of this relationship that you went through. But you will recover from it. This, well, this was an ending for you. This is the death card. And it's now time for you to move on to something better. Something better is waiting for you. You can see there's a lot of red in the back over there. So there was a lot of drama that was uh, in this relationship. But it is now time for you to pick up the pieces and move forward, make a fresh start, let go of that past. It is now finished and done with, and it's now time for you to take control and move forward. You've got the um, Ace of Swords over here, so you are getting your power back in your hand. You are starting to speak your truth, and you want success, and you're trying to cut that past out as well. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got that Ten of Cups, uh, the Knight of... Um, pentacles and you've got that three of swords so the ten of cups is about you know leaving behind that difficult emotional situation focusing on your family focusing on your children if you have any and uh, letting go uh, of all that emotional drama that went on so you are finishing you're ending that situation and you're moving on from it and uh, you got that you're going to be focused a lot more on your work and uh, you know bringing in the money in that sort of way so your focus is now changed towards yourself and your job and it looks like you will be working with a lot of people doing a lot of travel so you're going to be very very busy soon and you won't have time to cry about things it looks like you've broken off communication with this person as well they let you down they broke your heart uh, and you've turned your back on them and you are moving on. You're leaving all those emotions behind you and you're taking on a more logical way of thinking about things with this Three of Swords. So although you're heartbroken, um, you have cut off ties with this person completely. You're not, maybe you're ghosting them. You're not actually even speaking to them anymore. Uh, but you are now focusing on your work, focusing on your family and your children or focusing on your life uh, and you're breaking off those emotional uh, ties that you had with this person and uh, you're focusing on yourself. So there's going to be a lot of travel. There's a lot of, uh, there will be, uh, you will recover financially from the situation, but you will make a new beginning. New beginnings are coming in for you there. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Wolf Pack for the Oracle Read. And from the Animal Tarot for the um, Oracle Read as well. Uh, your first card is carelessness, so you cannot afford to be careless or you will suffer the consequence. Please pay attention to money and taxes and be careful as to what you say as it could possibly backfire. So proceed with caution, watch your finances, choose your battles wisely and don't divulge any information to anybody else around you. So keep your plans to yourself. You've got emotion over here, so you find yourself being in a situation that is almost over your head and change must happen for you to survive. Be true to your feelings and know that this too will end. Learn from experience and seek counseling. So you are feeling a bit miserable. You are feeling a bit depressed. You've got that uh, five of pentacles over here, feeling a bit excluded at the moment. Um, you know, try and get yourself balanced again. Look for something else to do that distracts you from that, um, you know, feeling depressed. 
And you've got the final card as the guilt. You seem to be harboring guilt about the past, such as the divorce, children, or actions. Seek a solution and move on. Learn how to overcome guilt and forgive yourself. Prayer heals. So it's very important for you to pray and connect with the divine. And it's important to you, for you to walk away from this person. Forgive yourself. Let go. Um, and, um, you know, stop worrying so much about what had happened in the past. Look to the future. That is very, very important. Now, um, on the animal tarot, you've got the seven of autumn, which says planning, resource and efforts you have invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have patience and meditate on the next steps. So things will come to you. Just be patient. You know, money will come if you're worried about that. You got that Princess of Autumn, which is also a money card, a wonderful opportunity related to your work um, or your um, education, such as promotion or scholarship is coming your way. Seize uh, this chance and learn everything um, and start to move forward to more uplifting and rewarding career so there might be some further study coming in for you with regards to your work and that is going to be where your focus is going to be uh, and this will help you uh, you know um, procure better skills but it also improve your your financial status and there's a new beginning starting with you for you there's an ace of summer so this could be a new home that you're buying and a new emotional beginning this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you it may be be the first blush, blush of romantic love or the rebirth of a current relationship, the awakening of spiritual gifts. Now, I see this Ace of Summer as a beginning. It's in making a fresh start somewhere else. It's buying a new home. It's settling down somewhere else. And it's walking away from this difficult emotional situation. So you've ended ties or you've you cut this person out of your life. You've got that Ten of Cups over there. And the best thing that happens is that Ace of Cups. So you, you're on a different spiritual level now. You'll start afresh and things will you'll become Come happier, uh, you know, and you can you can see there's this dove there. So the divine is guiding you, and this is a better pathway that you're on right now. Whatever's gone um, behind you has not served you. It was not good for you, and that is why it was taken out of your uh, experience. Uh, and you've had to make a clean break from it, but you have following your destiny and, you know, the divine will bring in better things for you. So hold out for something better to come in and don't be afraid. Uh, you know, this is a chance for you to now focus on yourself and focus on, on your spiritual path, your true spiritual path. So things are going to look up for you. Things are going to get better for you, but just hang in there and don't allow a negative emotion to bring you down. So I hope that this re reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.